All right then gang, so in this video I want to show you how to output something conditionally because sometimes we only want to show something on a web page to a user based on certain conditions. For example, only show something to a user if they are logged in or only show a user a discount if five items or more are added to the shopping basket. So we'll look at how we can conditionally output content dependent on something in our Ninja data that we receive as a prop right here. So say for example, I only want to output the ninja if their age is over 20. Now, that would be true for these two right here, but since this is not over 20, we wouldn't want to output that. So we're conditionally outputting something based on the data that we have, right? Now, there's a couple of different ways we can conditionally output something. We could use an if statement to do that, or we could use a ternary operator. And I'm gonna show you both different examples. But we'll start with the if statement. So right here, when we're mapping through the original data ninjas and we're returning the new list, we want that new list to contain only the ninjas whose age is over 20. So what we could do is we could just place an if statement above this return statement and we'll say if ninja.age is over 20, then we're going to return this JSX right here so let's close that off like so. And else what we're gonna do is return null. So we're only returning some JSX code if the ninja age is over 20. So let's see if that works. Let's go to the browser now and check this out. And we can see that now we're only showing those two ninjas. The one with the age of 20 is no longer showing. So that's cool, right? Now, the other way to conditionally output something is by using the ternary operator in JavaScript. So I'm going to show you that now. So what I'll do is just comment this stuff out right here, like so. And I'll come under that. And this time we'll say const ninja list is again going to be equal to ninjas.map. And we're going to take our ninja each time around, pass that through into the arrow function. But this time what we want to do is use the ternary operator instead to check whether we should output something or not. Now the way a ternary operator works in JavaScript is as follows. We have first of all a condition which is going to evaluate to true or false. We place a question mark after that and then we have two return values here. We have one return value which returns if it's true, that condition, then a colon, and then the second return value which returns if that condition is false. So this condition right here, this is going to be the ninja age over 20. So this right here, this statement is either going to evaluate to true or false. If it evaluates to true, then we're going to return this stuff right here. If it evaluates to false, We'll return this thing right here. Now, if it's false, we just want to return null, don't we? Because we don't want to output anything. Now, we need to return this value inside here because remember, we're inside the map function and each time around, it's expecting a return value. And that return value is either going to be this stuff in here, this JSX we're about to put in here or null. So let us now go inside here and add that JSX. So it's just this stuff right here. This is the JSX we want to return. So let's copy it and paste it inside here and scoot that back like so. We don't need these things. So let's get rid of those like that. And let's just neaten this up a little bit. All right, cool. So now what we're doing is returning this JSX if this is true and this if it's false. So Let's see if this works. So save that and view this in a browser and we can see this still works. So there's two different methods there. Using an if statement, which is sometimes a bit simpler to grasp at first, or using a ternary operator, which I think sometimes leads to leaner code. Now, I just wanna show you one more thing because we can actually do all of this inside the template we return right here if we want to. I prefer to do all this stuff above, but some people nest it directly in the template instead. So what we could do is grab all of this stuff right here. We're going to cut that. And instead of outputting the ninja list right here, we're just going to output the stuff we've just cut directly inside these little brackets right here because we're still outputting some dynamic code here. So let's paste all that in and scoot it over to make it look a bit more presentable. 
Now, we don't need this const here. We don't need to define it anymore because we're not outputting it. We're doing it directly. So we'll just say ninjas.map instead. And we don't need this semicolon right here. So what we're doing now is mapping through the ninjas and we're returning this thing right here, which is either going to be this JSX or null. So we're only returning the JSX when the age is over 20. So now we're embedding this directly inside the returned template down here. So let's save this and see if it works. And yes, it still does work. But again, I think this is sometimes a little bit confusing when you're looking at this and then you've got other parts of the template going on as well. Mm, a bit confusing. I don't like that. I like to do all of my kind of logic up here first of all, put that in some kind of variable which we then add to the template down here and render it. I think that is a lot simpler and we're kind of separating the logic from the actual template itself. So it's up to you, you can do both and you can choose whether to use the ternary operator or the if statement up here. I think for the most part, I'm gonna be using this, but occasionally you will see me use this as well. And again, for the most part, I will be doing my logic up here. But there we go, that's how we conditionally output something to the template.